Hey folks, Malforn here, and welcome back to the Elf Destiny mod for Crusader Kings 3. If you weren't here for the last episode, we did some pilgrimages that allowed us to convert back to being Alluran Weavers, and then we also went to war with England and won a bit of Northern England here as well. Many other things happened. If you didn't watch the episode, just watch it after this one, or before. It probably makes more sense to watch it first, but whichever way is good for me. And um, in this episode, we're just going to go to war with England as often as we can. We're going to try and get as much of Britannia before this series ends. We're just going to choose this option. Let's just get more and more piety. I think that's a pretty good idea. And uh, yeah, we're just going to be waiting for our truce to end, which is going to last for four more years. But then we can get back to war with him as well. I think we do have our council member on foreign affairs. We do. So they might be able to shorten that truce as well. Actually, do we have a better option? We do. We have this person who's six better. I'm going to do it. She's not going to like us, but it doesn't matter. I just want to get these truces ended as soon as I can, because then we can do more and more wars. He is currently in a few wars. In fact, he's losing. Oh, we've had another son with the Duchess of Moray. It's so funny how this has happened. The Duke of Moray absolutely hated us. Was that her father? Oh, wait, no, it was her grandfather, I think. Yeah, this guy absolutely hated us, caused us no end of trouble. And now we're actually married to his granddaughter. Pretty funny how that's worked out. And now she's had one of our children. Like I say, the king is in these two wars. Neither of them are going to affect him being on the throne, sadly. But he's going to lose land in France, basically. It looks like he's going to lose Brittany and his ancient lands in Normandy, I think. Oh, wait, no. I think it's just for this one county down here. But it does look like he's losing some of his French lands, which is pretty good for us. Obviously, less troops for him, which is fantastic. And then we just need him to die, or we just need to wait for the truce to end, basically, at this point. Oh, this is looking good for us. He is now defending against a war on his kingdom as well. So they're trying to push Hugh's claim on the Kingdom of England. If he loses this war, we can immediately attack him again. And this should hopefully start like a bit of a cycle where they're constantly fighting over the English throne, which would be very good for us if this was successful. He's only got 2,500. He's got 6,000 troops. I think he's going to lose this war. I think King Fulk over here is going to lose the English title, which means our truce will be invalidated and we'll be able to attack England immediately again which would be great. We can take another duchy off them. I'm not sure if to take a duchy in England or one in Wales. I might take one in Wales because I think that would give us a claim on the Welsh title, which doesn't exist. Yes, it would, because we only need two more. Okay, we'll do that. We'll take a claim for a Welsh duchy. Well, in fact, once we get that, there's only one more duchy anyway, so it doesn't really make any difference, but it does give us another kingdom title, so I'm pretty happy with doing that anyway. And obviously, if we die... It will get made anyway at that point. So we'll decide when we get round to it. But I think we will go after Wales first. And then come back to the other stuff after doing that. But we're going to keep an eye on the king. Yeah, he's not doing very well. He's losing this war against the French. Which is funny because they were allied previously. But obviously no longer. He is fighting with his brother, I think. I'm pretty sure it's like his brother or at least a relative of his. Yeah, I think it's like his brother or his uncle or something. Either way, he's having a good time fighting him. And yep, he did lose that war. Oh no, he did lose all of Normandy then. Yes, yeah, so the King of England's lost Normandy. He lost Brittany as well. So he's only got the lands here, and he's got the lands down here in southern Aquitaine as well, which I imagine he won't keep that much longer as well. Oh, look at Castile. They're doing very well for themselves down here. We can make another weapon. He is legendary and renowned around the world. Let's do it. We've got so much money. We can do whatever we want. Do you know what? I trust your judgment. Make whatever you like. Is Inchla Irish? So we'll see what he makes on his return. Hopefully something really cool for us. And there we go. The king lost his war. He is now only a Duke of Essex. He no longer owns the English throne, which does mean King Hugh here of Normandy. We are now just going to attack him. There we go. Our claims. We're not going to do that. Let's, we could take some of Wales, as I thought. But do we actually get more if we just start taking like all of this? Let's do this. Oh, wait. We don't have the prestige. Okay, we need to do something to get some prestige. And then we can do that. So well, let's get the weapon first. And then we'll have a look. We will do one of these activities. We might host a feast or something. That will give us a bunch of prestige once we do that. Oh, in fact, this is going to give us some prestige. How many prestige are we short now? Conquer Duchy. Oh, I think we have enough. Yes, we do. There we go. We're going to declare war. We're going to get the Duchy of... Wow, look at this. An illustrious weapon. Plus 10 prowess. Plus 25 pursuit efficiency. Levy reinforcement rate 45%. This is lovely. King Malcolm's spear. Is it actually better than the spear we already have or the weapon we already have? Yeah, it probably is. It probably is. Let's equip another illustrious item. So we've got three of those. No, four of them. 
So we have this as well. We do need a helm, so we're going to get one of those as soon as possible as well. But um, yeah, let's just do this war against England. And then hopefully this guy gets kicked out and a different person takes over as King of England. And then we'll be able to do another war pretty much immediately. I'm not sure how many troops he's going to have. No troops. Okay, we don't need to call anyone in. We have so many more troops than him, it's actually comical. We'll see, obviously, whether he gets some friends. I don't think so, though, because he's only just taken over. So yeah, he has no alliances. He's only got one child. This is going to be an easy war for us to win. Yeah, you can siege this down as much as you like. We're just going to take all of this. We could even just head down to England, but I don't think we will. But one thing we will see is that he's so weak, I think he's going to get overthrown relatively soon. Oh, somebody killed one of our sons. It doesn't matter. We've got like 14 other ones. How many do we have? Yeah, I think we have 11 children. So yeah, we've got 10 other children left. Oh, well, I think nine, actually. I think one of our other children died. Yeah, we don't need to worry about one son dying, sadly. We're just going to siege, obviously, all of uh, West Riding down, then Lindsay, and then the East Riding here is going to be sieged down in a minute. And then, as I say, hopefully he gets overthrown, and then we can obviously just attack whoever takes over again after him. He's going to have so few troops, I'd be amazed if he doesn't. What would actually be fantastic for us is if he had a disillusion war. I don't think we'll see it. You never see it for these larger titles, usually, but it would be pretty good for us if there was one. Because then we could just literally just attack everyone independently and it would be fantastic. He's already been replaced by a queen. <laughs> My goal is the same. Wait, I think that means we can declare another war though immediately after this one. Because we didn't declare war on her. We can do another war immediately, I think. We'll see. Oh no, we'll still have a truce, won't we? I, th I think we'll have a truce. But uh, yeah, we've got a queen of England. I guess he got dethroned. Installed by faction demand. Dude, you won a war against the king and then immediately got replaced. <laughs> a faction then replaced you. That's got to feel real bad. Going to all that trouble and then somebody just votes you out anyway. So <laughs> I'm happy enough though. I'm happy enough with that. 40% and they've only got 2,000 troops. If we get more of these faction installations, it'd be awesome for us. There we go. We see that down. We'll come down to Lindsay. We'll get this. And then we'll probably just go and attack their army, I think, after doing that. I think that's going to be the best way to get this finished. There we go. 83%. Yeah, I think we're just going to come over and defeat their army because I don't think we've maxed it out. Oh, we've got nothing. I think because they got replaced as uh, ruler. So I'm sure we fought them already, didn't we? Or do we not fight them already? No, actually, do you know what? I think we haven't actually fought them, have we, in this war? I think they always just ran away from us. Yeah, actually, we'll probably just win this war by doing this fight. Oh, the queen's actually leading the army as well. No, she is mar she is martial focused. There we go. Nice. This war is finished. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> That's a massive swathe of England taken. That is awesome. How much do we have to take to get a claim on the title? I guess quite a lot. Use uh, a lot more. Yeah, we need a lot more before we can do that. Well, there we go. Um, do we get a truce with them? I think we do, even though we didn't declare war on them. Yeah, okay. So we do have a truce on them until they also get replaced, which is highly likely as it is a woman. I'm going to be honest, there's a high chance she gets replaced. She's only got 400 troops. She's going to get some crazy factions opened on her. And I think one of them will replace her pretty quickly, I would think. I'd be amazed if she's ruler for much longer. Famous last word. So obviously we can usurp this title. We're definitely going to do that. Because we'll become du jour ruler of that land, which is great. So yeah, we're going to keep an eye on over here. The queen, if she changes, obviously, back to a duchess or something, we know that she has been replaced. If not, we'll just wait for the truce to end and then we'll do it as well. So... Either way, we should be able to get back to war with England. And then that's what we're going to be doing. Oh, we've got a thousand piety. Well, that means we can do this. Found a holy order. We can found the first holy order of the Alone Weavers. Let's do it. Found a holy order. So we can call them into fights. Well, I presume they are the first. They are the Divine Vanguard. The first Aluren holy order. Amazing. It's obviously in our lands as well, which is fantastic. We had nothing else we could spend the piety on. I was thinking once we had a thousand piety, we'd be able to do the buy claim option, but we can't actually do that. Oh, we're actually dead. No, we were so close to doing really well then. Well, we were doing really well anyway, but we were close to unifying all of Britannia, but we have died at 79. Our new character is 73. <laughs> so continuous him. Wow, look how the realm split. That's crazy. King Duncan of Ireland. And then obviously ourselves here, 73. Do we have a claim on all your lands? Can we just get everything back? We do not get everything back. Well, I'll be honest, guys. That is where we're going to leave this series. As I said at the end of the last one, the new core expansion is out very soon for Crusader Kings 3. 
and I was trying to get as much of this done before that came out because, as you all know, if you play Crusader Kings, when a new expansion comes out, the patch that accompanies it usually breaks previous saves or makes it very hard to continue playing them. And as fun as this campaign has been, the mod itself, Elf Destiny, has a bunch of updates, I'm sure coming in the future as well. We've actually played all the content that is part of the mod. I think this is a good place to leave it because we do have to basically win all of those Irish lands and then attack England. And it was really just an arbitrary goal of trying to make an Elven Britannia. It would have been awesome to do it, but with the death of ourselves, it's just going to be crazy. We're also 73, so this character is going to die very soon as well. So I don't think it's worth trying to carry on and do it. But anyway, that is going to be it for the Elf Destiny mod so far on the channel. An amazing mod. As always, I'll link it in the description down below. Do give it a try if you've enjoyed what you've seen during this campaign. I think it's really cool the stuff you can do. We obviously went full Elven. You can actually do that other decision where we would have stayed Scottish, but then we would get a tradition linked into Scottish, which I think would allow us to do Allure and Weaver stuff, but not be Allure and Weavers ourselves. But then there's the other choices, like we chose Supremacy. We could have chosen to make peace with the humans and all those other decisions that we could have done along the way. And then obviously the mod itself is going to get more and more content in the future. As I said, do give it a try. They have a fantastic Discord as well. If you're interested in the mod, do join it. The guy who makes it is very active in there. We're having chats about suggestions, ideas for the future. Loads of cool stuff in there, so do join it if you've enjoyed the campaign. Tell them Malforian sent you as well. I'll enjoy seeing that. But uh, anyway, on that note, we're going to leave it there for today. Thank you very much, everyone who watched this and enjoyed it. Hit those likes, subscribe, all that cool stuff. It really helps me try to grow this channel bigger and bigger. And in 2024, I want to see how big we can make the channel. And so far, it's been fantastic. So I appreciate everyone who watches, shares, likes subscribes all that stuff it brings a smile to my face as they say every time i see your comments and uh, stuff like that so that's enough waffling on by me thank you very much for watching i'll be back with a new campaign shortly i'll also be live streaming on the day the new expansion comes out i think this episode will literally come out the day before with how many i've got uh, recorded and things like that so um yeah that's it for today hopefully you've enjoyed it i'll see you in the next one